Hi friends, in this video uh, we see uh, about transformer. Uh, I would like to explain this topic uh, with a question and answer format. Okay. First question is what is transformer? Transformer is an electrical device used for converting low alternating voltage into high alternating voltage and vice versa that means the transformer is a uh, device that is electrical device it is used to change uh, from one voltage from low voltage to high voltage or high voltage to low voltage uh, that is it transform electric power from one circuit to uh, one circuit to the other circuit okay so the next question is what is the principle used in transformer that is um, the transformer is works on the uh, uh, is works uh, on the basis of mutual induction okay mutual induction how many coils used in the transformer the transformer consists of two coils okay what are the two coils used in the transformer in the uh, transformer there are two coils the first one is primary coil and the next one is secondary coil okay these two coils are wound on a soft iron core okay that is it is coated by a soft iron core why why the transformer wound on a soft iron core so what is the reason the trans uh, what is the reason for the transformer won't turn a soft iron core that is to minimize the eddy current okay to reduce the eddy current we use the soft iron core okay so what is eddy current so eddy currents are loop of electrical current induces within the conductor by changing the magnetic field when a conductor moved in a magnetic field uh, it induces current okay that current forms a loop okay that is eddy current eddy currents are loop format that is eddy currents are loop of electrical current okay so who absorbed eddy currents so the eddy current was absorbed by focal chip okay what happened when ac input is applied across primary coil here there are in transformer there are two types of coils primary and secondary coil now we apply ac input to the primary coil then uh, the ac input produces varying magnetic field in the primary coil which in turn induces magnetic flux and emf in the secondary coil okay then it uh, induces the flux and uh, emf that is electromotive force or voltage okay in the secondary coil so what is the induced emf in the secondary coil here emf in here emf induced in the secondary coil due to uh, ac input in the primary coil is it so what is the value of induced emf induced emf uh, in the secondary coil so uh, induced emf in the secondary coil es equal to minus ns t by by dt here uh, minus sign is uh, is, uh, is written according to the lenz law okay so what are the voltage in the secondary and primary coil so voltage vs equal to minus ns t by by dt then primary coil voltage vp equal to minus np t by by dt okay from this we can write vs by vp equal to ns by np okay t by by dt here t by by dt are cancelled then uh, from this we, uh, we can write the voltage for secondary coil the voltage for secondary coil vs equal to ns by np uh, multiply vp okay so the next one is what is transformer ratio so the transformer ratio is represented the letter k okay so k is defined as es by ep equal to ns by np equal to ib by is this ratio is called the transformer ratio what is efficiency of a transformer okay so efficiency of a transformer is defined as the ratio of the output power to the input power okay that is esis by ep by ip okay that is the ratio of the output power to the input power 
So the next one is what is the value of efficiency for ideal transformer? So the efficiency is represented the letter eta. Uh, the eta equal to one, or uh, we can say that that is hundred percentage. That means hundred percentage means there is no power loss in the ideal transformer. But practically, uh, there is some power loss. So the value of eta is less than one. Okay, that is hundred percentage uh, is not accurate. Okay, so next question is what are the energy losses in a transformer? In a transformer, there is some energy losses. Then what is the uh, energy loss? What are the energy losses there? The first one is hysteresis loss. The second one is copper loss or resistance windings. The third one is eddy current loss or ion loss. The fourth one is flux loss or flux leakage. Okay, there are four losses in the uh, transformer. First one, the next one is what is the reason for hysteresis loss? The repeated magnetization and demagnetization of the ion core. That is the magnetization of the ion core is repeatedly reversed by the alternating magnetic field. Okay, so that uh, that is the reason um, due to the hysteresis loss. Okay, so how can minimize the hysteresis loss? Okay, use material having the least hysteresis loss. Example, alloy like uh, silicon steel. Okay, so what is copper loss? So copper loss means the current flowing through primary and secondary windings lead to joule heating effect. That is current when current pass through the primary and secondary uh, coils, it, it produces heat. That heat uh, is called the joule heating effect. Okay, so how do you avoid copper loss? Okay, we use thick wire with low resistance then we can avoid copper loss okay what is meant by eddy current loss okay so eddy current means that is a uh, loop of electric loop format of electrical current okay so uh, uh, how to avoid the eddy current loss the alternating magnetic flux induces eddy currents in the ion core and causes heating so uh, the, this eddy current can be minimized by laminated uh, core. Okay, so the alternating one, the magnetic flux induces the eddy currents and it produces the heating. Okay, and it produces the heating effect. So this uh, eddy current loss is minimized by the laminated core. Okay, so next one is what is flux loss? Flux loss means the flux produced in the primary coil is not completely linked with the secondary coil due to poor design of the core or the air gaps in the core. Okay, the, that is uh, uh, in the primary coil the flux is produced due to this flux uh, it induces the uh, flux in the secondary coil but this, uh, this flux are not completely linked with each other uh, due to uh, poor design of the uh, core or uh, there are two, uh, in the two coils there is some air gaps okay so um, so th this is the reason for the uh, flux loss okay so what is the way to reduce flux loss okay binding the primary and secondary coils one over the other or use uh, shell type core okay so we use the primary and secondary coils uh, with uh, one over the other or uh, we use the shell type core uh, core then we can reduce the flux loss okay so next one is what type of arrangement is called step up transformer so what is step up transformer in step up transformer the number of turns in the secondary coil is increases okay the number of turns in the secondary coil is high okay but the volt here the voltage also in the secondary coil is high but the current is low in the secondary coil or the current is high in the uh, primary coil okay that means ns greater than np v is greater than vp then is less than ip okay so in step up transformer increase the voltage by decreasing the current because uh, voltage is increased that means that is step up okay voltage is increased in the 
secondary coil but it decreases in the current in the uh, primary coil okay so in the transformer ratio k uh, is greater than 1 okay the next one is what is step down transformer okay step down transformer is uh, here uh, the number of turns in the primary coil increases or number of turns in the primary coil high then voltage in the primary uh, coil is high but current in the secondary coil is high okay so that means ns greater than np uh, sorry ns less than np then vs less than vp then is is greater than ip okay so here secondary current is high here uh, in step of transformer secondary uh, coil current is low okay so in step down transformer decrease the voltage so voltage is decreased that means step down okay decrease the voltage by increasing the current here the transformer ratio k is less than 1 okay uh, that's all friends if you like this video please subscribe thank you